All right, let's do it. Okay. Hey, ready? Rollins? Rollins? Kelly Henry Rollins? Rollins? Ooh. Hey guys, come on in. <laughs> Welcome to Table Talk. We've got the place set up for you. Uh, we've got some treats, we've got some dishes and drinks. Um, I hope you're ready to have a good time. Are you? <laughs> uh, they're not. Say something back. Are you? Viewers? What a rude house guest. Yeah. What a kidding? rude house guest. I guess we'll do what we always do, which is take these little topics out of the bowl, which does not have food in it. I made a delicious spinach dip, which you're not going <laughs> to get a chance to embark on a journey of taste. <laughs> There's artichoke hearts in there. <laughs> <laughs> but you guys know how this works. We talk about your topics that you give us on the Twitters with hashtag Table Talk and the Reddits with r slash source fed. So let's, uh, let's just jump right in. Jump. Let's do it. Let's jump. Jump. Say your jump name. Off. Let's do it. I mean, they came in when we were talking okay, earlier. Okay, cool. You yeah. could throw them in there, Owen? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, probably. Our, they ed might our editors are smart people. They don't need us to prompt with our names. They know who we are. I'm Lee Newton. I'm Joe Barretta. I'm Ross Everett. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> All right, from the Reddits, Francis Cove Lasquez oh. says, Did you ever meet a person that you thought they were an asshole, but they turn up to be an awesome person? P.S. You guys are awesome. Oh, well, we're gonna you find think the was that asshole out. at first? Yeah. I thought it was an asshole <laughs> at first. Well, well, what did we do? I mean, you're just, just judging us right off the bat? Right off the bat. Right off the bat? Come on. You're, Come on. You're kind of aggressive. I know. I just I'm trying a to little think. Bit. I know I have. I know I've I've dated him. <laughs> <laughs> I, I know I have. been like, that fucking guy. And then, like, two weeks That's later, I've been like, whoo. Like, my first girlfriend in eighth grade, like, my first, like, real girlfriend that I was with for a long time. Eight months. <laughs> in that, in eight back then, I, that's like it was seven like a record. Years. Yeah. yeah. Uh, I, I before like two months before we started dating, I'm pretty sure her and her friends teased me mercilessly and brought me to tears, like in public. Oh no! Yeah. Oh. yeah. And then oh, we, no. and then I totally made out with her. Touched yeah. her boobs. Nice. That's yeah. the best, isn't that it? Is. Like mm -hmm. there was this girl in college that was like really cold. Uh, very beautiful, but like I had a class with her and I just kind of wrote her off. Like whenever we would like invite people from the class to go to parties, like I would never invite her because she was just really, really frigid. Um, but like slowly, I forget how we started hanging out, but either way, she made a move on me and I was blown away that this like really cold, frigid person who t turned out to just be lonely. <laughs> so, uh, kind of socially yeah, awkward. Aww. Kind of, she, I mean like stunning and beautiful and you don't, you don't think that those stunning, beautiful people people uh, have emotions. So it's very interesting when you find out that sometimes they just they just want to yeah. be included. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I have like it's a it, mine is like a bar story where like some guy that was always he was horrible to me. He was always so mean to me and like literally he was standing right next to me and he goes, "You're a bitch." And then just kissed <laughs> me and Whoa. I was like, <laughs> You're a, he, he it was a movie moment. No, it yeah. was like legitimately. Like he literally goes like, he's like, you're a bitch, and then like grabbed my head and kissed me, and I was like, into it. Was this a roadhouse? This is a roadhouse. It was like legitimately. I was like, because I was like, no one calls me. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> it was so stupid. Uh, the but worst yeah. is when you think you're a nice person and you find out that somebody thinks you're thinks an you're asshole. Awful. No. Yeah. No. Oh, yeah. yeah. It happened. Oh no, I know. What you think about? What did I do? I was so hard. And they're like, that person, like, she's constantly on my ass. Or, like, you try and, like, be mm -hmm. like, oh, this girl, Tammy, am I right? And they're like, <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> you're a bitch. I, <laughs> I, I, I always thought that I was the bullied one in middle school. Uh, Were and you the bully? I, I think I was. You were a little some, dick? To, well, to certain kids. Because, like, I actually really feel bad uh, about this one kid that was, like, kind of way lower on the totem pole than me, but for whatever reason looked up to me. And in my insecurities, I was like, this kid sucks. He, he looks up to me. What is so wrong You were with paying him? forward so, the shittiness. Yeah, I paid forward the shittiness. And I, there was one moment, and I, like, I, I so regret this now, which is no, why I'm no, bringing it up. No, no, no. No, no. It's gonna make Well, me like, I want to, like, absolve myself. Like, I want to apologize to him. Uh, oh, what's to his name? Abe. I'm not going to give his last name, Abe. but his name was Abe. Which, you know who you like, are. there, there enough is, boy, he Tough. had some hard times. But we does his last name end with Wits or Stein? Erz. <laughs> Erz, there Erz. we go. Uh, so Abe. we uh, we used to go to like religious school together, and I hated it because I had to hop into like the van, the, my mom's like VW van again with Abe Erz and. Uh, <laughs> Abe Erz. 
and I remember one time, like, uh, <laughs> like he was he was saying he had something that I wanted. Like I think it might have just been McDonald's French fries. Naturally. And I, I said, uh, Yo, you're gonna give me some of those. And he goes, I am. And I said, Well, yeah, you want to be cool like me, right? <laughs> And then he's like, "Yeah, I, I guess." So he, I took his French fries from him, which you is like so be small. Cool like me? But I, I said something else, like, "You know, you know how people like." And no one liked me in my mind, but <laughs> in his mind, I was someone, and I, I could kind of tell that he like you used your status as a way I to used get my free status, and, and, free it was, and it was like it wasn't even real status; it was like a faux status. And I feel to this day, like I cringe thinking about That's it. That's your bully it's, moment, yeah. stealing fries stealing from somebody. Fries from uh, Not I'm, even I'm, in a no, physical manner. I'm sure there were others, but that's the one that stands out to me because this guy. It, like really had zero friends oh, and, it, like, it, hey. and it was like this false extension like listen if you give me your french fries I will make you cool like me and you and did it's it like, false then, promises yeah. you did make well, him cool I did but I wasn't cool so it's just like instead of like making him cool I just kind of like took off the mask or like peek behind the curtain and be like we're both losers <laughs> <laughs> tricks on you and it, like I feel I feel terrible you I don't know it okay. yet but somebody's Do gonna you, steal these fries boy? from yeah. me yeah. <laughs> 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 Were you a bully? No, I don't think. I had one bully moment. Uh, it was a jovial thing that probably affected a kid uh, more than I would have wanted it to. Oh, God, no. no okay. Not like that way. <laughs> no, we were... My school was, I, I think, for the most part, I've talked about it before, pretty devoid yeah. of, of bullies. I mean, there were some dicks and whatnot, but all of the groups, like the jocks hung out with the cowboys and the band geeks, and we all kind of just were in each other's groups and like I was a football player that also did pep band and that's and how dance. and dance and that's how yeah. most of the school was is that people kind of were intertwined what a, like, and everything I, that's feels it feels like the setup for like a scary movie spoof type thing where it's like there's no clicks anywhere <laughs> everything you can't put me in a box catch <laughs> it yeah. yeah so there wasn't a lot of bullying but uh, yeah yeah one time a kid was like kind of seeing my sister or I was like flirting with her all the time so we uh, he was on the football team with us, and we were seniors, and he was, like, a sophomore. And there was no, like, aggression in this, but we were all laughing and having a good time, and we end up uh, uh, athletic taping him to a shower pole okay. and turning on all the showers. Wow. Okay. Right. While he was laughing, and we were laughing, yeah. and then we'd, we'd take him out right away and it was like, blah, 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 we're done. But the funniest part in it was we totally got caught by the athletic trainer. He walked in, know. and he goes... Oh, no. You guys! And <laughs> Joe! He goes, you guys? And then he looks over to the left, because we're all laughing and being loud, and he looks over to the left and he sees him athletic tape to the shower pole with a dumb smile on his face. <laughs> he goes, his name's David. He goes, David? Stop fooling around. <laughs> 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 He's uh, yeah. like, we let him, we let oh, him okay. out, and blah, blah, blah. But that was the closest thing. Anyways, that guy, I probably ruined his life. Yeah. yeah. Poor David. No, it's not like he was having a good time. No, I mean, we weren't, you gotta like, there was like no beating are. people up or you anything in our like school. You gotta pretend like you are. I yeah. never, I mean, he might have been, he might have been super miserable. Yeah, that was my way of, like, bullies. I was always like, I am an asshole. <laughs> You're right. Like, ta da 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 You went back and And I, like, I tap danced in my, in my little fatness. I was like, you got it. Where do you want me to fall? You can't do. <laughs> but I want to. I want to flip up the, sw the the script here real quick because you're probably looking at me. Oh, you were a dick bully. No, you? that no, story no, doesn't fit no you as a dick at all. I mean, he, he might have thought I was the worst kid ever. You're having I, a good time. But I would like to say that I also did get bullied every once in a while because I did do things like dance because I was in ballet. I got punched all the time. Punch? punch? Yeah, I got straight up punched. Man, Montana has has oh. yeah, Montana's no rules. Legit. Mm -hmm. I feel like there's a guy in Montana named Montana who like just wears a stupid vest and bullies kids mm. in Montana. I mean, I stood right. back to them and Montana's they never coming. got to like Montana's coming. <laughs> no. You're, it's just like, you like do the guy that looks 40. Montana? I never had my lunch stolen or any of those cliches. Yeah. I did! You did? None of that <laughs> None of that crap. <laughs> you stupid, Screw the stupid, innocent. stupid bitch. Oh my God. <laughs> You stupid, I still remember it because I was so mad. It was the one day I got a Lunchable because my dad packed my lunch. We never got a Lunchable because my mom was trying to make us healthy. And Jennifer, stupid long legs, now she has like 15 kids and is dumb. But she stole my lunch. And then I remember, I was so, so mad. But I remember specifically like me being very excited about it. She stole it and then I tried to tattle on it. I was like, Jennifer stole my lunch. And then she was like, Lee never has Lunchables. 
and I couldn't argue. <laughs> <laughs> she was just looking for her window. She's right. She's like, it's the perfect I crime. never get Lunchables. <laughs> it's Jennifer <laughs> How are your 12 kids? Oh, I bet they get Lunchables. I, mean, I that's bet they awesome. get them. Yeah. <laughs> She buys them for her kids, and then she takes them from them. And then she them. takes them from them, <laughs> exactly. Um, okay, E V V D N. Tiny Vivic. Yep. <laughs> Evan. Evie Vivic Tiny Master. Yep. Cool. Your favorite flavor of jelly bean slash gummy bear. Yeah, I'm pretty passionate gummy bear? about this. Yeah, yeah, you go ahead. Pineapple. The clear, like the the one. That's that, actually a pretty good one. Yeah, that's a solid it's one. It's the gummy underdog. Bear. You don't expect that one to be so good. No, it's Wait, so good. Wait, pineapple jelly bean. Gummy pineapple bear. Pineapple gummy bear. Pineapple yeah, gummy the, bear. Like the yellow whitish ones. Ones. The, the white whitish yeah, ones. Yeah. Those oh, are the best good. ones. They're so good. They're I'm, so I'm good. a fan of the clear ones. That's the one. That's pineapple. That's pineapple. That's pineapple. They're good. Yeah. You know that if you go to Jamba Juice, they have a secret menu, and one of them is white gummy. Oh! It tastes just like a white gummy bear. Oh! Yeah. That's good. Okay, yeah. down to jelly beans. Let's get some brass tacks in here. Oh, no. You get a you hand in a, 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 a bowl full of jelly bellies and you pull it out. Yeah. You can get rid of everything except for any of the green colored ones. Yeah. Anything green. Yeah, that's Specifically a solid pear. Pear. Pear is my champagne. favorite. Oh, champagne pear. Is so good. Pear is so good too, though. Mm -hmm. I'm a huge fan of the coffee ones. I yeah. like coffee. You can have all the browns have and whites and blacks. You know oh, a white, white. I we used Look. to have a Chinese food restaurant that had a big thing of jelly beans, and I was I was that awful kid that went and fished out all the whites, like <laughs> barehanded. Yeah, <laughs> like, you just had your little snot hands all yeah. in there. Yeah. Oh man. Secondary color in the bowl of jelly bellies. Get rid of all that other stuff. Keep the greens and the reds. Anything red. You're oh, good but too. here's the thing. There's one red Cinnamon. that legitimately I don't know what it is, but it has red and it has like maroon sparkles on it, specks on it, and it seriously tastes like butt. It tastes like, I was like, oh, this is dirt butt. Like, this <laughs> is like dirt butt. what dirt butt tastes like. <laughs> That's why it's red and brown. I think it's raspberry. No. No, <laughs> raspberry. Is is it dirt butt. Oh, I think we thoroughly answered yeah, that. Yeah, we got to that one quick as opposed to the good. other one. I'm sorry uh, about Omni that Omni 239 says, what's going on under the table right now? My feet are crossed and tucked underneath in a very... Mm -hmm. My feet uh, are submissive way. Joe's are open. Uh, and, my pasty and thighs are covered by dark blue jeans. Um, my legs are probably at a fifty degree angle. You yeah. guys, I'm realizing we should have lied. <laughs> we should have said something way more yeah. interesting. There is yeah. it's, it's musical just cross legs. going on. Dan um, dancing, Steve. Steve's, Steve's under here, there. tickling all of our feet. It's he a game we play it. during table favorite. talk. We He's tied up. Break. We plan on dismembering him later. Tee but we will be selling his parts. So One guys, part. We want to spread the rest yeah. around the earth. Uh, it'll be we for next it. Cyber Monday. We're going to freeze dry him. <laughs> we're going we're gonna to we're gonna quarter his body like Braveheart, and then like s the highest bidder gets the head, and then the rest of it we're going to send to the Did you just spoil here. Braveheart for me? Oh. Shut up. It wasn't already. <laughs> if it wasn't already. Shut up, I hear Ross. it's good. I hear it's great. I hear it's a good movie. <gasps> Ill dung your pooper, or I'll, ah! I'll dung I'll your dung pooper. I'll dung your pooper. Love from it. the Reddit says, what physical feature immediately turns you off? Girls who don't take care of their nails. Oh, Hashtag that's a weird one to have. No, I, wait, is that what his was? Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah. Or it was an example. Oh, I had right. something in, in high up. school uh, that I hated when girls had peeling nail polish. And uh, hmm. my, my high school girlfriend at the time knew that about me whenever she was angry. <laughs> I could see her doing this. She would just keep trying to peel off her that's nail polish. That's a weird thing. It was such a passive way to like give. <laughs> it didn't bother me, but I just thought it looked very weird. I always think it's funny when guys have any issue with like something Thing that's added on to a woman because where it's like it's it's like so much work. But we it's love like, you at the core. I don't give a crap. It's like <laughs> when you're like mad about nail polish. I'm like really like I have 50 things to do. I have so many things to. There's so many things on me right now. Number one is looking good for me. Yeah, that's fair. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm trying to think of like a physical. Attitude I've talked that about like like really gross fingernails is one for me, uh -huh. but that's on guys. If I see a guy with long yeah, fingernails, long it just creeps me long out. Long fingernails on guys, like really short bit creeps me out. On girls, which on is girls. such an like like I'm that is really a hypocrite thing. in this. A lot I'm of a, what I tolerate in myself, I don't tolerate in others, which is like the worst way to be. Yeah, well, you much. don't want to date yourself. No. no. God, no. No. Honestly, I know it sounds crazy, but like really big muscles, like really kind of. Yeah, you hate it, super in shape guys. I hate super in shape guys. 
Because at the end of the How day, like... Nice to meet you. Anyways. My name's Ross. I'm a little <laughs> doughy. Right. Son of a doughy. <laughs> favorite doughy. I'm a little doughy. I'm comfortable. No, I, I don't like... Because I've been a super in-shape guy, and it's always just like, that guy... You know, you're just like, oh, this guy what? again. Because oh, you know me, he's not. Picking me yeah. up and stuff. <laughs> okay, I, got, I got one. I got one. I'm usually tolerant of most things when it comes to people and how they look. Mm-hmm. One thing that always gets me, and I won't say it's an automatic turnoff, but it takes a lot for me to overcome it, are girls that have smiles so big that their gum line is bigger uh-huh. than their teeth. Oh, like, I it's know. like, what? Yeah. yeah. And I'm not like, saying that's not a, tra- it can still be attractive, no, but for me, it's like, whoa! Yeah. Whoa! Gonna yeah. need a minute! Need a- don't look it right in the mouth! Uh, just don't gum. say funny things! It's just gum. Yeah. Oh, it's I, hard I, I was me. at a party like really recently. really small upper yeah. lip. Yeah. I was at a party recently, and like I was watching this girl talk to this guy about how she had braces, and then watching him befuddled. Like, he literally, because he was a little tipsy, too, and so you could see him just be like... <laughs> Boo. <laughs> like, and she's like, and they have for like four years, and he's just like... Oh, boy. <laughs> I felt so bad. Braces don't bother me on adults. I don't know oh, why. Oh, yeah. Because you, again, at the end of the day, like, you're fa- I had it's braces. It's super temporary. Braces. I had braces. Do you have braces? Never. No. no, I know. You said that before, and I hate you. No braces, Damn. but I'm going to oh, have to get my wisdom teeth taken out Superior because they're starting Joe. to compact oh. my teeth. Oh. Yeah. Yeah, you missed out on a lot of real nerd dumb things. Yeah, no oh. braces for Lucky. this guy. Uh, one guy. thing that you can control, and I just thought about this, uh, plaque in your teeth. Have you seen people that have, like, clearly never flossed? Ugh. Yeah. It, it's yeah, hard to big... look at them, teeth and I would one, never I want to kiss someone that has an unclean mouth like that. So floss. <laughs> the you, floss. If you, the if you floss. Guys, if you guys even want a shot with this, so, this with doughy, a doughy, pizzy, doughy rust. The, the Pillsbury Doughboy No, I know. So I like comedy bodies. I'm a big fan of comedy yeah. bodies, because at the end of the day, I got one. Mm. So. so, like, do you get a lady boner for, like, when Will Ferrell takes his shirt yeah, off? Yeah, I mean, like, in a weird way, I do. I'm always like... It's the most ah. disgusting stomach on I don't, the planet. No, I love it. No, it has, but I it's hilarious. Love it. It's got yeah. character, yeah. but it is gross. And it's the, I think it's adorable. Like, I'm <laughs> always so like, gross. oh, baby. It's funny, oh. and it's hilarious, and I respect it, and I, I wish I could I could do the way he does it, but it is gross. It is gross. It's the weirdest it's, hair. It's the best, yeah. <laughs> but it's the best comedic tool. Like, people that... I've taken my shirt off multiple yeah. times at the ground, ladies, yeah. <laughs> and it always gets a <laughs> you talk like you talk yeah. You it. just have to own the fact you that when you take off your shirt, this people is laugh. The thing. Great, yeah. I'm gonna use that. Fantastic. Now. I'm we with you. Talk on that. about it all the time. Okay. Like uh, it's it's almost detrimental for a comedian to get into really good shape. Yeah, like, yeah. No, it really kills is. the career. And this is like even stand up. Stand up comedians. They know that they can't look too good. I've heard so yeah. many people well, like, that are like my agents tell me not to work out, and you're like. Yeah, that makes sense for you. Yeah, you well, Nick Thune has he's a he's a stand-up comedian, like handsome guy, and he's always said like it's hard being handsome when you're trying to do comedy. Yeah, and it's like, well, fuck you. Like as someone that's like, <laughs> kind of, like I, I always describe myself as Jewy and unchiseled, like that. I, it's like, fuck you. Like I would give anything to be handsome. Screw comedy. I'm only doing this because I'm not. Yeah, it's, <laughs> like, it's, it's a defer. Yeah, yeah, it's like, a, well, I guess I'll do comedy. Yeah, yeah. Like who is who would you say is the most successful good looking? Stand up case. Is it Dane Cook? Uh, Daniel I, Tosh, he, maybe? I've, Daniel I've Tosh seen is probably Dane up there. multiple times yeah. in real life, and that is a nightmare. Yeah. It is a Monet. It uh-huh. is it literally, it's. Looks it's good on a, stage, though. Like, the looks camera good, yeah, loves looks fine him. on stage. I would say it's Daniel Tosh. He's handsome, yeah. but he's also, you know, he, he, but he's, he's, not, he's a dick. He's a jock he's dick. He's a total you know? jock dick. And for whatever reason, that works. Like, I, I've never do seen Do you hate Daniel, Daniel Tosh? No, I love him, and I hate that I love him. <laughs> Yeah. I really do because like I, I want to be able to do that, but at the same time, like I can't pull off what Tosh pulls no. off. No, Tosh, I think Tosh presents his humor in a uh, dick jock manner, but he's as self-deprecating as any yeah, other. Yeah, he is. Oh yeah, I think he's genius at he it. He self-deprecates yeah. his sexuality. Yeah. Like that's I feel like was maybe his insecurity that everyone thought he was gay. So he was like, great, I'm gonna own up to it, and I'm just gonna bring a Being bunch of naked, naked guys constantly, every yeah. time he can. One hundred percent. Yeah. No, I'm trying to think. It's there's a lot of women comedians that are like actually a little attractive, mildly. You know, Natasha, Natasha Leggero. Leggero. Yeah. Mm-hmm. She's uh, a big one. Silverman. It does seem Silverman. like yeah. no, it's, Silverman it's is the other every, side of the coin. Of, a lot of guys have a big boner. For she doesn't do it for me. But no, I, know I that. used to. Yeah. When she Sarah was, Silverman this makes... is gonna sound bad, but when she was younger, like if you ever see her on the Larry Sanders show, I was like, oh my god, she's beautiful. She and made, I love her. Ta- I think she made Maxim a couple times. Yeah. yeah. She, oh yeah. She. Yeah, she's she uh, it's kind of. I've never really thought about it before, but a lot of the uh, really 
successful women in comedy these days have kind of been attractive. attractive. Oh, not to. fair well, you know for women. No, no but here's Welcome the thing: like, w- there are girls that are unattractive, but their personalities boost them up way from. Like, for me, a girl needs to be funny in order for me to like mm-hmm. find her super attractive. That she needs to give me that brainer. Hi, Lee Newton, doy physique. <laughs> <laughs> You guys should see what's happening under the table now. It's just gross. My legs are crossed and they're tucked underneath the chair. Mm. <laughs> uh, Owen. Oh, Owen was doing no more, no more. Now one we time one we're going to have a table rabbit. talk in the other direction. Wait, and you guys will just be able to I see the frustration of the editors. Oh, the they need it now. The viewers need it. Ah, if the world was like uh, the novel Blindness by Jose Saramago, <laughs> are, <laughs> and you are the only person that can see, what would you do? Well, I never read Blindness, but I'm the only person that can see. I'd set up traps for everyone. You can rearrange the furniture yeah, constantly. Yeah, 100%. Yeah, but you know how you need the laughter of other people to really enjoy yeah. a moment? Yeah. No, <laughs> nobody would be laughing I think I'd feel so lonely. I think everybody would be in their blind click, and I'd be on the outside, and they wouldn't care. What it would feel like is the biggest burden on the planet. I would yeah. feel responsible yeah. Yeah. For, for everyone. everyone. Well, no, because that, that's assuming that blind people in a society of blindness wouldn't have adjusted and oh, compensated. Fair. That They probably wouldn't You'd be the asshole that would yeah. be getting in the way. Yeah. 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 Yeah, because they'd be just walking around. Their their sense of hearing would be incredible, and you would just Maybe. be like, you'd be the the. What yeah. if it was newly one. blind though? What if everybody like <coughs> looked up at the sun at the same then time? Then it would be then it would be an extreme burden. Then it would be like the one guy who's not yeah. blind on the radio cast. Radio would be immensely popular. Radio would be huge. This show would still do okay. Sorry, <laughs> yeah. I'm so sorry. That was from Kamusta Darwin. Good job. Great. Mm. Awesome, you guys. Well, I am let's, not let's... very good with names. No, you're nailing it. You got that Evan yeah. guy, but really. Yeah, we'll let you. Uh, we'll let you uh, have a chance for redemption. You can take us out of the show. Oh, okay. Yeah. Well, thanks very much, you guys, for watching Table Talk. Remember that you can always submit your uh, questions with the hashtag Table Talk or r slash George Fred. Nailing it. I'm nailing it. I'm nailing it so hard. nailing it so hard. I'm nailing it so hard. Have a wonderful day, guys. Yeah. Have a beautiful, wonderful day. And we love you so much. If you want to make out with Lee Newton, just call her a bitch. Just call her a bitch and grab that face. And also be incredibly handsome and now a doctor. <laughs> and doughy. Yeah. And doughy. A doughy doctor. <laughs> it's necessary. It's, you know, that's actually great that you feel that way because we live such a sedentary lifestyle these days. Like, I, we're Oh, God, like, shut I up, it was awful. I couldn't hear the second we're, he said We're it. holding still every day. Like, what do we do? We're sitting at our computers, we're writing. It's, it's a real problem. It's a real problem.